All right, so this one is the HPI Venture. It's a Toyota FJ. I got some Rock Beast 1.9s on there, some deep dish metal bead lock wagon wheels. Got the uh, Hobby Wing 1080 ESC switch up and 25 kg Amazon servo. Let's try this out here. See if this can hang with it. CX-10 too with a few modifications. Oh, want it, want it bad. Come on, rock beasts. Some tires are nice. I'm gonna die, big fan of those rock beasts. You guys can get a set of these. I got a 2-2 set on my great. It's a 1-9 set. Great tires. These are right up there with the J Concepts landmines and the high racks, pro line high racks. And, uh, now that I'm actually getting some rock crawl, oh, need to adjust my drag right there. It's not holding me the way I want. Now that we're just really high geared in this. All right, here's a, here's a good one. Let's see if it'll make a crawl like this. Go, 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 go. Oh man! I took the spare tire off the back. It's a stock spare tire. Um, the spare, and the stock tires on this were very stiff and very small for 1.9s. Oh, these rock these are so good. I had these in my, my wraith out here last time. It blew my mind with how good these rock beasts are just gripping this loose rock. It did rain yesterday. They're all nice and cleaned off, so it's be part of it. This be adventure. Just crawling right up. SCX 10 2 chassis kit just made, just barely made it up here. This is just making it look easy. And also, that SCX 10 2 chassis kit has Voodoo KLRs on it. <laughs> well, I'm impressed right now with this, by the way. I'm, I'm really liking this. This is fantastic. I'm not going to try to go down with this since my drag brake's not working. This is a pretty steep all the way down there. Up here, we're probably a good 20, 25 feet up. And it's a pretty good incline. You know what? I'm going to try it. Heck it. Heck it. Who cares? Break it. And then we just upgrade, right? All right. We're just uh, going to get over it. There we go. Oh, I think it's gonna make it down. Oh my god. All right. Yes, again. Blown away by this thing. Can't believe that just went down that without flipping over. Wow. 1080 made a huge difference. I'm still running stock 35 turn motor. Yeah, rock, these rock beasts. This is my new my go-to tire. Um, I still haven't got the landmines out here to test those or the high racks yet. So we'll see what happens there. I know a lot of guys say. The biggest difference you can make to your crawler is adding tires, but I can't express how important that is actually. <laughs> I mean, RTR versions. I mean, look at that. What is that? What? What? I have my G-Made Buffalo out here. Two different sets of wheels on it. Kryptons and a class, set of class ones. I had to hop up over that, floor it, jam it, get a big bounce. That just crawled up it like it wasn't even there. So, let's try some other stuff a little challenging. This is a real steep incline. Hard to tell with these videos sometimes about these inclines, but I can get this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Here you go. Give that rest of this here. <laughs> what do you think? Down the other side? Let's do it. Yep. Just like that. I'm gonna try to come off that. Ooh, I'm gonna have to cut more off that fender there, I think. Rock piece. A little surprising me. Yep, there you go. Oh, well. And 
stand up and over. Okay, no drag brakes, so right down the other side. Oh, there it is. It's kind of holding itself a little. Look at that. I didn't even use throttle there. drivers and other stuff in there. Gosh, this thing is so much better with that 1080. If they just put that in every close control over the truck, it really just needs to be. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to cut some more off those fenders. Oh, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to cut some more of those. It's all right, I don't mind trimming. A little trim here and there is always nice. And right up and over the way. Background out, huh? How about that background? Oh, snap. Beautiful. A lot of fun out here. About an hour from, from my house, but I got time. Totally worth the drive. This is really balanced going down, I noticed. I need to add front and rear weight when I have the front weight because I want to keep it balanced. It's very balanced, actually. This was worth it. worth the wait. Got it. Uh oh, this is gonna be bad. It's gonna be tough right here. Downhill for me is just as important as going up. I'm sure, you can drive them up and carry them down if you want. That's no fun. What you got, you know? Getting that test. But yeah, this has definitely got the no portals or anything out there. The axle clearance is low, but I do love that the steering mostly is behind the axle. The uh, RC four wheel drive. Pound up that real quick. <laughs> like it wasn't even a trail. Way down, way down. Yeah, a little more fender trimming on this and maybe a little more bias weight in the front. Like I said, maybe a little brass up there. Maybe brass all around. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Get out there and have some fun.